of so I should put it okay so what are the irreducible representations unitary irreducible representations of SO2 are <coughs> for m is equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 etc dm of alpha is given by e power i m alpha Now you can see that the number of irreducible representations are also infinite here, but they are not uncountably infinite, they are denumerably infinite. So that whatever we talked about the equivalence between the number of classes and number of irreducible representations is not true for continuous cases. It is exactly equal if you have a finite group. But for continuous cases, that equality is not uh, is not true. So here you have number of classes as uncountably infinite, and number of irreducible representations are countably infinite. Both are infinite, but the difference is denumerable is countable. Here I can count right m equal to one, m equal to two, m equal to three, like that. They are countably infinite. But between 1 and 2, there is no value of m. 1.1 is not there, for example. Hmm? Yeah, there is discreteness here. It goes to infinity. That is called countable infinity. Here, it is uncountably infinite. So, the irreducible representations are given by these complex numbers okay e to the i m alpha now you can talk about uh, <coughs> square integrable functions on s o 2 l square of s o 2 that means set of functions like f of alpha such that So, I think I shifted from this alpha theta to alpha here. Anyway, it does not matter. So, maybe I put it theta. Theta less than 2 pi. All possible functions that depend on this alpha such that you can define f f1 comma f2 in inner product on this space as 1 over 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi d theta f1 star of theta into f2 of theta an inner product can be defined on this square integrable functions in this fashion. Now, you will see that since these are one dimensional representations, these elements are complex numbers. So, they also will be the characters. And if you want to write down a function of theta, any function of theta in this vector space can be expressed in terms of this irreducible representations correct so that will be equal to some m is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity some fm into e to the power im alpha now what is this fm we can obtain this fm in 1 over 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi e to the minus i m alpha 
into f of theta sorry upon writing this alpha theta confusion so f of theta d theta so what is this this is the usual fourier series so fourier series is actually <coughs> expanding this arbitrary function the square integrable uh, a space of square integrable functions on so2 and uh, you can expand that function in the irreducible representations of so2 now we can ask what is o2 Huh. I don't know that. Maybe it is known, probably, or may not be known. I'm not sure about that. But that was mainly to address the heat problem. So maybe it was from the partial differential mm -hmm. equations. But these are all related. Even Lee was interested in um, classifying class of solutions of partial differential equations. So, O2 is you can have this A of theta belonging to SO2 union a set of matrices B of theta which are written by A of theta multiplied by a matrix P where P is equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 I must produce a matrix which has determinant minus 1 so I take a of theta and multiply with this I will get b of theta so this set union this set all these matrices will have determinant minus 1 because you know determinant of b of theta is determinant of a of theta into determinant of p determinant of p is minus 1 so all b of theta will have determinant minus 1 now you can see that the following things can be easily seen to be true a of theta into <coughs> what is p of a of theta p on a of theta is equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 and cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta so this will be equal to what cos theta minus sin theta minus sin theta minus cos theta so we can write this as cos of minus theta sin of minus theta sin of minus theta into minus cos of minus theta ok now this I can write it as <coughs> this actually is uh, <coughs> if you if you actually look at what is b of theta b of theta is equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta into 1 0 0 minus 1 so what this will be equal to cos 0 sin minus cos so cos sin cos sin sin minus cos that is b so this is actually b of minus theta or I can write it as a of minus theta into p ok so I can uh, have this result as a of minus theta into p this is of course trivial p square is identity now we know if I take a of theta into a of phi I will have a of theta plus phi if I take a of theta 
into b of phi what i will have a of theta into b of phi so this is actually a of theta into a of phi into p right b is equal to a into phi a into p but what is this one this is a of theta plus phi into p so this is equal to b of theta plus phi correct these are the operations <coughs> a of theta b of phi is equal to b of theta plus phi now what about b of phi into a of theta b of phi into a of theta is equal to a phi into p into a theta correct so this i can write it as a phi p a theta is a minus theta p correct so that is a minus theta p which means this is a phi minus theta <coughs> into p which is equal to b phi minus theta so this group is not abelian why because a theta b phi is b theta plus phi and b phi a theta is b phi minus theta so they they are not same theta plus phi is not same as phi minus theta correct so this group is a non abelian group and finally what is uh, so let us call this as b of let us write this here b of phi minus theta so we conclude that this is non abelian and lastly b of theta into b of phi what will this be equal to b of theta into b of phi a of theta minus phi because i will i will get a theta p here i will push that phi by making a minus phi here and then i get a theta minus phi and p square is equal to 1 okay so with these operations we know how to compose elements in the group o2 yeah a of theta minus phi you write b of theta as a of theta into p b of phi as a of phi into p and move that phi p here by making b of phi as b of a of phi as a of minus phi use this one okay these are the elements what is the center of the group center of o2 which element will commute with all the other elements this is a non abelian group only identity element what about commutator group take any <laughs> suppose you take a alpha and a beta and then a alpha inverse a beta inverse this is the definition of a commutator right q of a alpha a beta if you take so let me simply write q of alpha beta if you take like that then what will this be equal to a alpha a beta this is alpha plus beta right 
a inverse of alpha is what? A minus alpha. 